I often thought, how is this fair to women who don't have the same avenues to educate themselves? And who is telling them about the changes occurring with their bodies? The information seems to be somewhat hidden or kept quiet, and that's why I wanted to create this DVD, to share what I have learned with all women and give them the same chance to take control of their bodies and resolve their symptoms. Knowing your anatomy and visualizing the action of your muscles has been shown to significantly improve muscle performance. So I want to give you a review of your pelvic floor anatomy and function. Our pelvic floor is actually the floor of our abdomen with our low back, hips, and stomach muscles enclosing the abdomen on the front, back, and sides. It's made up of four thin muscle layers that all pull and contract in several different directions to close off our pelvic outlet. Now what does good posture have to do with pelvic floor weakness? As you will see in this drawing, the position of your pelvis can affect the position of your bowel, bladder, and uterus. If we are in neutral spine, our uterus and bladder sit to the front of our pelvis where there is more bony support. If we stand with our hips thrust forward and our buns tucked under, our pelvis is rotated counterclockwise. In this position, we have disengaged our abdominal muscles and our hips are thrust forward, relying now on the tension of our ligaments and bones versus the tension of our muscles. Unfortunately, as we relax the muscles of our back and stomach that help hold neutral spine, we also effectively relax our pelvic floor muscles. Our next exercise recruits our transversus abdominis to stabilize our low back as we lift our leg, working the muscles on top of our thigh and our inner thigh. These muscles are very important for our stability as we remember to unlock our knees to achieve appropriate standing posture. To begin, position yourself on your back with your knees bent. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. And now straighten your right leg, pointing your toe and rotating your foot out. Maintaining this belly button in position, simply lift your right leg until your right thigh is even with your left. You'll pause before slowly lowering. We will continue for a total of 10 repetitions on our right leg before switching to our left. So here we go together. Keep that belly button drawn in, your toe is pointed, foot is rotated out, and we'll perform 10 lifts with our right leg. Lift it up, pause, and down. Lift it up, pause, and down.